Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for yet another uh, Zentangle tutorial here. Um, welcome to my channel. While you're here, please remember to subscribe so that you won't miss out on any upcoming tutorials. So for today's uh, little Zentangle project, we are going to use a Pigma Micron 01 pen in black, a pencil, and a blending tool and I'm using my 3.5 square inch uh, centangle tile here. So our focus tangle for today is honeycomb relief and along with that we are going to uh, maybe use a couple of other patterns too. To start off with my pencil I'm just going to draw a string here a very simple kind of curvy string here like this right so that's I have my string down with my micron pen I'm going to start drawing the pattern honeycomb relief by Simone Bischoff Right, so the pattern starts by making these little hexagon shapes here. So just like this, I'm starting from the center so that um, you know I have enough space to go around. And then once you have one of your hexagons down, we are just going to build from there from each side. Again, I'm going to consider another hexagon like this and then two sides of another hexagon I have here. So just like this, we're going to start with the hexagon and start you know, building from there, kind of like your um, the honey or the beehive so wherever uh, there is space I'm just going just within this string line that we drew slowly taking your time One by one, we're going to fill up this entire space with this hexagon shape, so the hexagon grid. Kind of like building off of the first one that you did and then going around and making the others. All right, so I have all of my hexagon down here, hexagon grid. And now what I'm going to do is in each of these hexagon shapes, I'm going to join one side like this. So just going horizontally in each of the hexagon shapes that we have here. So one by one, going horizontally in each. The lines need not be, you know, perfectly straight. They don't need not match to become a perfect straight line. So just wherever the hexagon goes, just take those lines, Johnny, making these nice little horizontal lines like this just like this 
Alright, so once I have all of these hexagons and these lines down, the next step to this pattern is now wherever we added the line right in the hexagon, so somewhere approximately in the center, we are going to add kind of an orb or a circle like this. So going one line at a time. So just add whatever space you have, just go one by one and add these kind of little orbs approximately in the center, making the orbs. Your orbs need not be, you know, perfectly round or anything like that, a little bit wonkiness really adds character to it so just whatever little space you have in the edges you can just add just like so then continue the same thing on all of these hexagons one by one all right so now I have all of my orbs or the round shapes in the center of the hexagon down so now what I'm going to do is so one by one again starting from the center let's go one by one what i'm doing is i'm going to color this half of the orb here and then the other side i'm leaving the orb white and coloring the space around the orb right so you can use a little um, thicker nibbed pen for this since it's a larger coloring area so this way I'm going to alternate between the hexagons here so now that this is black this will again be white and and the orb this part will be black and this is going to be black again so just like your checkerboard where we color the alternate squares black, right? So here, whatever space, whatever shape we have, just the, for example here, now this is white, so this is going to be black. So this way, you're going to color the whole of these hexagons and orbs here. So just take your time and slowly do that so I will also continue doing it at my own pace and I'll meet you back here in a bit all right all right so I have all of these areas now colored in so now around this I'm going to go and add my next pattern which is our print tombs or the simple spiral so I'm just going to start somewhere around this and just go one by one adding the spirals making some of them big some of them small just to add a nice little variation here and also since we have um, larger areas colored in here so this pattern which has just lines kind of balances it off here. So just go around your whole tile, you know, turn taking time to turning it and adding the spirals one by one. So I'm going to take my time and do it at my pace and 
I'm going to add the print terms all around. Um, I would not go till the end. I would. I uh, don't like to fill the whole of my tile with print terms. I would like to leave a little white space so that um, you know uh, it adds a nice contrast to this dark. All right. So just if you want, you can fill up the whole space if that is what you would like to do. That is fine too. So. Just take your time one by one going around so these tiny little nooks and crannies that are there I'm just going to ink it in to add a little depth and continue with my spiral here so I'll finish adding them up and meet you back in a bit all right so now that i have added my print arms going all around this honeycomb relief now it's time to shade our tangles here so for the tangle honeycomb relief what i'm going to do is this side of the orb which i have colored black i'm just going to go ahead and add a little graphite going around only the half of the orb which I have colored black so there one by one I'm going to add all my graphite here so just a light little line is enough and then we are going to blend it with our tortillon all right so once you have added around the orbs now here going around this entire string line that we made slowly turning my tile on the print arms itself around this string line I'm going to add my pencil here so you can add as light as you want I like doing it a little bit darker here so I'm putting a little pressure so you can do as light as you want Right, so here and there on the print on too, wherever there is kind of this print arms going under, so I'm not going to do them on all, just here and there, just to give it kind of nice depth or layering here. I'm going to add the graphite all right so once I have my graphite down now with my blending tool I'm just going to lightly smoothen all of the pencil marks that we made first around these orbs in the honeycomb relief pattern So once I have this down, now I'll go around this entire pattern. Just smoothing it out, kind of like you know, lifting this pattern up. Like 
this and then on the print-ons again with very light little circular moment here just adding smoothening out the graphite lines all right so here i have my tile completed with the pattern honeycomb relief and print tombs here and now it's time to add our initial a chop and then appreciate our creation so just add your initials or your signature anywhere on the time So here's our little Zentangle Mindful Moment project for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, creating the style along with me. Please do share your creations and tag me so that I can look at your uh, works. And do remember to subscribe uh, and share this channel with your friends who would be interested in learning about Zentangle. And you can even join my Zentangle group, Bangalore Tanglers, on Facebook and share your creations there too. All right. So thank you again and I'll be seeing you soon with yet another Zentangle tutorial. Bye.